Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa always want to make a yuan tea at home. Now, yuan tea is what? Yuan tea is actually um, the pork leg, but it's actually the portion right above the elbow. Yeah, the portion right above the elbow. You can use the one on front leg or the, the, the hind leg also. Both also can. Uh, the, I think this one should be the front, which is leaner. Yeah, if you want fatter, use the one at the back. And this is the one right above the elbow. So you can see there is a lot of meat, a lot of meat here. And this is only half of it. Yeah, because my family can definitely cannot, uh, uh, definitely cannot eat the whole uh, yuan ti here. So this is only half of the yuan ti. I don't. Uh, I try to check what is the yuan ti in uh, English. I think they all this. They just call it pig trotter. But pig trotter actually refers to refers to the whole leg, isn't it? So this is just uh, one part of it. Yeah. So uh, you, you first thing you do is to blanch it. I will show you very quickly later how to blanch this. So after you blanch, you have to wash it thoroughly. Right after that, we will uh, make make the brains. So what we need here is about one tablespoon of uh, uh, this is um, rock sugar. Sorry, few pieces of old ginger, one tablespoon of fried garlic, or you can use fresh garlic. Pan fry also can, and of course we need. Uh, some uh, five spice powder, or probably about about one teaspoon, and these are the herbs that I'm going to put inside the tea bag later. So I have a tea bag from Daiso. You can get it from Daiso. So let's look at the Chinese herbs here. So uh, this is approximately two pieces of star anise. This is uh, if you combine together, is one bigger pieces of cinnamon stick. This is uh, bay leaf, black cardamom. Uh, this is the small cardamom, two, two small cardamoms, and this is uh, two cloves, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, uh, a little bit, half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of white pepper. So what we do next is I'm going to pan fry this using dry roast, meaning no oil, just to pan fry without any oil for a minute or two to really bring out the fragrance then after that I'll put it inside the tea bag then we will need to make the braise of course you need some hot water and then you need some fish sauce this is my favorite fish sauce from Vietnam and then you need to put in some Shing wine and light soya sauce also and also dark soya sauce that's all it's actually quite simple I'm going to use pressure cooker today so just blanch uh, your pork leg uh, in boiling water for about a minute or two and you can see all the brown color forms coming up. There is the scums and uh, that's exactly what we want to remove, yeah, the, the gaminess yeah, of the pork leg itself. And I did also put a little bit of uh, Chinese cooking wine and also a few pieces of ginger inside the boiling water. Okay, no need to put any oil. Just dry roast this for a minute or two, then we can actually take it out. Mm, this one very pretty, isn't it? My friend made it for me. They, she says it's called burn, mm, what? Burn art. <laughs> Wow, immediately I can smell the nice fragrance releasing from this. Some people after this step, they will actually blend it into powder form. Uh, probably I won't do that. I'll just put this all inside the tea bag. So what happens if you don't have a tea bag? Get a cloth, small cloth. You can actually put inside the cloth as well, no problem. Okay, enough. If not, you are going to burn it, yeah? Alright, so here we go. This is the tea bag. I put the herbs. Uh, dry roasted herbs into this tea bag here yeah so let's make the braise right now uh, we can actually put in the uh, yuan tea first yeah the pork leg put it inside 
This is uh, the old ginger, few pieces of it. This is the rock sugar, one tablespoon. This is the fried shallot, about one to two tablespoon. This is the dried spice. One teaspoon of five spice powder. Now we can actually add in the hot water. Basically, you want your water to nicely covered. You want the pork trotter to be nicely covered, uh, submerged, yeah, submerged under the water. So we definitely need more water here. While waiting for that, I'm going to add the seasoning. This is about two to three tablespoons of light soy sauce. My favorite fish sauce. Only very recently, I saw a China uh, TV where they actually added fish sauce into a braise. Fantastic. I never knew I can do that. Okay, some Saoxing wine. About a table to two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. This is more for the color. Okay. And I'm just going to add enough water to uh, to uh, make the pot trotter is uh, sufficiently submerged. Okay, I'll be adding some salt as well. About one teaspoon first. You can still adjust uh, right before serving, yeah, the salt and also sugar. So I'm going to put this into my pressure cooker and uh, cook it. If you don't have a pressure cooker, so what you do here is after this step, you should uh, use your pot to bring it to a boil. Once it is boiled, tune down uh, to medium low and cover this with cover it with a lid and cook for minimum one hour to one and a half until the the kind of texture you wanted between one hour to one and a half. Okay, depending uh, on the thickness of your uh, pot leg. Okay. Let me choose the setting. Uh, it should be come under beef or lamb, and I will reduce the time a little bit to twenty. Oops. Oh, cannot reduce the time. Then never mind. Thirty minutes. Then I will reduce the pressure instead. To 50 kilopascal. Hmm. Then press. Three seconds. Okay, done. So you will cook by yourself. You will build. You will build out the pressure by yourself. Cook it for um, 30 minutes. Release the pressure by itself. Then done. Yeah. You just need to do some final seasoning with salt and sugar uh, before serving. That's all. Very simple. And I, I roughly know already what kind of texture I'm going to get because I've been using this pressure cooker for uh, one or two years time. Alright, so let's just wait. Okay, the pork trotter is done. I've taken up uh, some gravy and thickened it up uh, using a high heat and also um, put in a little bit of cornstarch and also some uh, salt and sugar to adjust the taste here. Yeah? Just put this on top. Actually, I always wanted to do a yuan tea. So, uh, but of course, if you want to eat it at home, um, better to ask the butcher to cut it into smaller pieces. This is really for the sake of the video, yeah? So, it looks more yummy. <laughs> okay, so my yuan tea, braised yuan tea is done. I'm going to eat it with some chili padi as well. So I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come Cooking Appa Facebook fan page, click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.